as you might know, everything in Formula E happens in one day. We don't have free practice one day, qualifying and race. Everything is compressed and testing is very limited in Formula E. So the best way to prepare is coming for a few days here on the sim, uh, practicing from qualifying to race, different scenarios. We can replicate everything, even rain if you want to, and then get ready for the weekend. Yeah, obviously preparation is uh, is key for Formula E, um, especially me for me for me as a new newcomer. Um, I need to learn all the procedures, so, you know, all the all the buttons on the steering wheel. Also, um, yeah, the lift, lift and coast phase is something for me very very new, uh, unlike DTM. So um, also three different layouts probably in Berlin. So lots of things I need to to pay attention to, and also driving the Formula E car is very different. So we're um, at the home of uh, our uh, motorsport activities. It's been a home for about the last six years. We're very lucky to have the facility with everything under one roof, making everything efficient. So that's from the design department with CAD workstations, uh, CAE systems with uh, simulation tools through to test benches for hardware tests of the electrical powertrain where we can simulate everything that happens um, with loads at the circuit through to assembly workshops and we also have a, a test track facility to run the car as a finished product. So the driver can then prepare himself perfectly for, for a circuit that he's uh, maybe physically not seen before. Uh, a lot of the Formula E circuits that we go to are built in the week running up to the event and, and we've never seen them before so our preparation is, is the absolute key and this simulator enables us to do that. I think this is a unique simulator for Audi. Um, as you can see it's got quite a complex arrangement with a full motion platform that uh, enables then the uh, loads that the driver experiences in the car uh, to be simulated here basically to uh, create uh, the exact of the car characteristics of the simulator. The driver tries to learn the track. Uh, on top of that, uh, we have the opportunity to uh, change uh, set setup parameters uh, on the simulator, much like we do on the real car. Uh, during a Formula E uh, event, everything is very compact, very little time to uh, evaluate changes, and we can do that perfectly simulator here. Furthermore, Formula E has uh, energy management, which is a really important factor where we use uh, the energy on that circuit, where we recuperate and to optimize that, this is uh, the perfect tool. The driver spends you know, a full day on the simulator and uh, will go through a complete program. So that can, that can include uh, qualifying, uh, race, um, a complete race simulation, a complete race simulation maybe in wet conditions and we will cover all eventualities uh, that, uh, that can happen at, um, at a typical racetrack so for example full course yellow um, will also be, uh, also be um, simulated. The simulator allows us to do many things and uh, of course energy management is a key part of that but uh, qualifying preparation, um, making sure that the tyres are uh, in, the, in the right temperature window, um, that the driver perfects the driving line. Um, with regard to the attack mode placement, everything can be simulated and, and will be in advance of the event. Well, we have quite a unique simulator here. We, we uh, work with uh, different suppliers, our hardware and software. Our graphics engine supplier um, are provided uh, typically with a 2D uh, drawing of the circuit, which they then transpose into a 3D uh, environment. Uh, furthermore, details such as uh, circuit um, bumpiness and uh, asphalt changes can be uh, considered with a track scan uh, using LiDAR.
is shifted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will start just before the last CK.